There are four stages that children pass through to develop and construct a mental model of the world, understanding the nature of intelligence. In today's video, I will explain and give examples to distinguish the four stages of the cognitive development theory by Jean Piaget. Keep watching. The sequence of these stages are universal across cultures and follow the same unchanging order, although not all at the same rate. But in general, and according to Jean Piaget's studies, all children go through the same stages. As a developer of the French version intelligence test, Piaget was intrigued with the incorrect answers children gave to questions. He believes that this revealed the unique way of how children think. Piaget was the first one to identify that children think differently from the way adults think. Children actively built their knowledge rather than waiting for someone to fill their heads with knowledge. He proposed that intelligence develops and grows through a series of stages from infancy to adolescence. He conducted this study using naturalistic observation of his daughter and nephew. He also uses clinical interviews and observations with older children to support his hypothesis. As a result, he concluded that children were not less intelligent than adults, but they only think differently. He represented his observation by defining cognitive development, which involves changes in the mental process and abilities that reflect the increasing complexity of children's minds. The sensorimotor stage. The first stage of cognitive development ranges from birth to two years of age. Infants do not yet have a mental picture of the world. They still do not have a sense of object permanence. During this stage, toddlers acquire knowledge about the world through basic actions such as sucking, grasping, looking, and listening. As they interact with their environment, they continually develop an understanding of how the world works. At the end of this stage, they learn how to perform physical actions, and language starts to appear, which they learn from the people with whom they interact. The main achievement or breakthrough at this period is object permanence or the knowledge that they acquire of knowing that objects exist even if they cannot see it. The pre-operational stage. The major hallmark that this stage is attained is the emergence of language. This refers to the symbolic functioning that is characterized by the use of mental symbols, words, or pictures which the child uses to represent something that is not physically present. Children learn through pretend play but think concretely about the world. They struggle to accept other people's points of view, which is defined as egocentrism. This stage is also characterized by centration. For example, a child observes that the water from a narrow glass poured into a shallow may judge that the quantity of water decreases because it is lower. That is, the child attends to the height of the water, but not the compensating increase in the diameter of the container. Additionally, the child believes that inanimate objects have lifelike qualities and are capable of action. This refers to animism. For example, a child plays with a doll and treats it like a real person using their imagination. This action leads to intuitive thought which occurs when the child can believe in something without knowing why he or she believes it. The concrete operational stage. The third of four stages of cognitive development in Piaget's theory. This stage, which follows the pre-operational stage, occurs between the ages of 7 and 11 years and is characterized by the appropriate use of logic. During this stage, important processes are involved. First is seriation. It is the ability to arrange objects in an order according to size, shape, or any other characteristic. For example, if given different shaded objects they may make a color gradient. Next is classification, which is the ability to name and identify sets of objects according to appearance, size, or other characteristics, including the idea that one set of objects can include another, a child is no longer subject to the illogical limitations of animism. Then, next is decentering, where the child takes into account multiple aspects of a problem to solve it. For example, the child will no longer perceive an exceptionally wide but short cup to contain less than a normally wide, taller. Next, reversibility, where the child understands that numbers or objects can be changed, then return to their original state. For this reason, a child will be able to rapidly determine that if 4 plus 4 equals 8, 8 divided by 4 is equal to 4, the original quantity. Next is conservation, or the understanding that quantity, length, or the number of items is unrelated to the arrangement or appearance of the object or items. For instance, when a child is presented with two equally sized, full cups they will be able to discern that if the water is transferred to a pitcher it will conserve the quantity and be equal to the other filled up. Lastly, the elimination of egocentrism is the ability to view things from another's perspective. 
Kids in the concrete operational stage also begin to understand that their thoughts are unique to them and that not everyone else necessarily shares their thoughts, feelings, and opinions. The formal operational stage. The formal operational period is the final stage of cognitive development theory. This stage, which follows the concrete operational stage, commences at around 11 years of age or puberty and continues into adulthood. It is characterized by the acquisition of the ability to think abstractly, reason logically, and conclude from the information available. At this point, people become capable of seeing multiple potential solutions to problems and think more scientifically about the world around them. It is important to note that in Piaget's theory, intellectual development is not a quantitative process. That is, children do not add more information and knowledge to their existing knowledge as they get older. Instead, Piaget views this development as qualitative changes of how children think as they process through these four stages. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you've got value, remember to subscribe for more free review materials. If you missed our free coaching series, go ahead and check the description box below. Study smart and keep going.